we have a problem. From the security sector, from GAO, from the leaders, from the CSs, from myself, from the IG, we are all agreeing that there is a problem. We are also admitting we have not done very well. And I want to thank you for admitting. Instead of being defensive, I think it's a way to go. It's good management practice where we have fell short of expectations, we accept, and we build and we improve, and then we can make progress. From the conversation, it is clear that we need to work on national legislation across the country to deal with this issue of regulating alcohol. The leader of majority, Kemani Chongwa, has said he is ready and waiting. So the way forward, let the PS Interior coordinate some reps from NACADA, from the National Police Service, from the DCI, from the county government, from all the stakeholders to form a small team and come up with the interventions in terms of what the county commission in Darwa is saying, that vehicles that have been impounded, transporting illicit uh, drugs and others are conspicuous to the state. And no other, there are many ideas so that we have a team from the police, from the DCI, from health, from everybody. We'll ask Remo Domoro to assist us to put up that team. They get the raw beat and then hand it over to the leader of majority. We will first track it as a government bill, the Oisonga Kamarisasi. We get a law that will deal with all these things so that even the legal licensing courts that were there, we reinstate them. We involve the GAO and the police and the county governments in licensing. We agree how many bars you can license within a certain radius, within a certain population. I think that will help. And we also introduce stiff deterrent penalties in terms of imprisonment, in terms of fines. Is that one we have agreed? So let's make progress. Number two, the governors have also accepted that since they took over this function, that is where the rain began to beat us. And our governors from Central Kenya region, much as you are autonomous, we beseech you and plead with you on behalf of our people to agree the way Governor Kahiga has suggested we have a committee co-chaired by the governor and the county commissioner, first and foremost, to review the licenses for bar and restaurants. We review them together and jointly and agree on, on all the other modalities within that framework so that we work for the same people, the county government and the national government. And you are aware, of course, the policy shift after President William Ruto was sworn in on the relationship between the national government and the county governments is clear. We work together. I chair, I coordinate intergovernmental relations. And the national government and the county governments have the best relationship ever because we are in agreement. We serve the same people. The previous administration had incited national government officials that the county governments are their enemies. They are not. We have given clear direction to our county commissioners and everybody in the national government that the county governments are governments. The governors are elected by the people and we must work together. So within that framework, let us urgently by next week have the governor and the county commissioner co-chair a committee to look at the whole thing in terms of licensing, in terms of everything to do with this arrangement so that we can make some progress. I agree that the issues of alcohol are complex. Cabs have said they are 42 manufacturers. So Cabs, we want you to provide that list by Monday to the PS Interior to share with the IG so that we map those 42 establishments and their venues so that we can crack down on the rest immediately. So that's what I'm here.
Yeah, so let us, let us agree. Since they are licensed establishments, pending other considerations, we hold on Kidogo. But once the IG receives the list of the licensed establishments by Monday and circulate to the commanders, we crack down on all the unlicensed establishments, which are in hundreds. And we do it, and we do it efficiently. So that one will be able to make progress. In matters ethanol, in matters second generation products, a decision will have to be made. This is a matter we shall take to the National Security Council to decide on the wisdom or lack of it, of having this second generation products in this country is a decision that has to be made. We'll take to the National Security Council the issue of ethanol. And we'll ask KRI to tell us what are the gains, what are the pros, and what are the cons. Because it's ethanol that is having a problem. That is a decision that will have to be made. But in the meantime, this ethanol from across the country by the illegal traders, again, let the, CA, the PS Interior have the list of the licensed ethanols so that we can deal with the illicit ones. And we want uh, IG, you are instructed immediately to look at the command at the border point in Namanga and in Busia. Can you deploy officers of integrity of the proper rank to stop those illicit ethanol products coming into this republic? And that is doable. Again, rehabilitation centers the two approaches of having centers, like the one in Nyeri, is a good one. Let the other four counties consider. Again, also consider what Governor Wabarua has suggested, that you can map what C.S. Susan has said, and we we'll want to thank you. Let the community health volunteers map for us, the alcoholics. It is good for our planning. So that the way Governor Kangata has suggested, governors can consider the known cases, whether you can give them cover for NHIF and facilitate them to proceed for treatment. I think it's a good idea by Governor Kangata, but at the same time, I think it is also good to have a rehabilitation center in every county so that they go together. So I think that is something that can make a bit of progress. There were statistics that were given here by Nakada. In Nakada, I think the RRC and the commanders you share on the rivers, on the dens, where brewing is going on. That one, there's no complication. You don't need KRA. You don't need Nakada. You don't need uh, governors. That is our GAO officers and the OCSs and the other commanders. We want to give the following instructions. That information on the illicit dens in this region where illicit brews are being brewed, the GAO officers, the commanders, you convene your various security committees on Monday. And within a week, you shut down those brewing dens permanently. And you don't shut them down and go away. You police them to make sure that they will never reopen. And for the avoidance of doubt, the IG has said correctly, he will not transfer an OCS from one region to another because that is transferring a problem. And IG, we want to commend you for that. So for avoidance of doubt, those OCSs and ACCs who will be unable
to close and shut down those illegal breweries and distillers must leave this region and they must not go to any other region IG. You know where they should go. They must leave this region, but they must not go to any other region within the Republic. Because that is transferring a problem. And if you cannot close down dens within your area, the list is here. You will be given the list. It is clear. There is no discussion. You have enough personnel. You shut down those dens, and we want you to furnish ID with returns of what you have shut, how many people you have arrested, how many you have taken to court, and that exercise indeed in this region must be done in the next one week so that we are just left with the 42 manufacturers only for now. But all the illegal entities, that you must wipe out. And there is no discussion because it is clear it's a simple job and you shouldn't allow it to happen. Again, in issues, drugs, there is no discussion. No drug is licensed. So there is no conflict. You cannot blame the county government. No drugs are sold in any shop. The truth of the matter is that these peddlers, you know them. That is the truth. That is the truth. The chiefs know them. The policemen know them. It is up to you within the coming one week to sit down and draw an operational order and plans and deal with these drug traffickers conclusively and with finality. And it doesn't matter. Even if you take somebody to court and he is given a small fine, arrest him again and take him back. He is released, take him again. After 10, 12 times, he will stop that nonsense. Of course, we are going to have a discussion. My office coordinates independent offices and constitutional commissions. I'm going to have a meeting in camera between the IG, the DPP, the DCI, the AG, and the people from Interior for that discussion so that we agree with them because they are also parents. So that we agree with the DPP. What kind of charges are you preferring? And the police will put their case. And that is my role. I'll coordinate that meeting next week so that we have that discussion. How do we work together? How do the various agencies within the criminal justice system support each other so that some of them are not frustrated? Again, the GAO officers are complaining. Officers are complaining that when they arrest people, the OCS also release them without charges. That complaint is there. And those are the things that within that framework between the county governor and the, the county commissioner with the membership from the security agencies you need to deal with so that you also don't kill the morale of officers. They go and arrest people, you come and release, and we know what those releases are all about. What uh, the OCS Kiambu police station has said, by the way, that police station was under me once with the Karori. What you have said about who is who, for the record, in this matter, the who is who we are only for. For. <laughs> President William Ruto, Deputy President Regadi Gashagua, Professor Kidure Kendiki, and IG Kome. None of us owns a factory for manufacturing alcohol. None. For the president, I can confirm. IG, I'm not sure. Do you have one? <laughs> you don't have. I am sure. I am no, you don't have. My man, Mutiangu Hapa, I am Konok, professor, he has none. I want to tell you, OCS is here and across the country. Please arrest those people. Any telephone call to leave them alone, ignore. Take those people to court. Na ukisukumwa, unitafute mimi. Ukisukumwa, uambiwa ati utaona kama unitafute. Piga simu pale ofisi yangu, uambie secretary, mimi ni fulani ni fulani, ni nasukumwa, mambie DP ajue. Na wacha namba yako nita kupigia. And I'll sort it out. 
there is nobody in this country who is sacred in this matter. Hii ya kuwa watoto wetu? Abana. Haiwezekani. Haiwezekani. And there is no who is who. Sasa who is who ni nani huyo? We know there was a who in the previous administration. Eh? Huyo mtu ndio ameumiza watoto wetu. Na nyinyi mlikuwa mnapigia salute akiwa watoto wetu. Lakini si ameenda nyumbani. There is no such thing in this country. Please station commanders please do your work and don't fear hii ni serikali ya mahasala hakuna mtu ya kuogopa na hakuna mtu mkubwa kwa hii serikali na hakuna mtu atakubaliwa auwe watoto wetu atieni mkubwa and the way somebody has suggested that civil servants and public officials have no business in this industry it is true why there was a problem is that PS Interior was the seller of alcohol in the country. How could we have controlled alcohol? That is how we have landed in this ditch. The involvement of that PS in Interior for seven years is the price we are paying today. But we are going to sort it out. We are going to have a discussion at the National Security Council about those 42 manufacturers. We'll agree whether to suspend them or not. We'll agree whether to reduce them or not. We'll agree on how it is done. And I want to put them on notice. Those who are bringing ethanol to kill our boys and our girls, your days are numbered. You, what you are doing is worse than murder. And I don't know because I'm not a lawyer whether we can have some charges on attempted murder against those fellows. I don't know kama inaeza ingia, inaeza tafutiwa ukarabati tuone. Sijui kama inaeza ingia, I think there is a way. We'll ask mawakili wetu watuambia kama inaeza ingia. So, we'll agree. Mambo ya foreigners. OCS Karuli, huko hapa? The OCS ya Karuli yako hapa? Ya? Yeah? Eh hiyo watu ya Ruaka tafadhali. Please hiyo watu ya Ruaka waenda fanya kazi yako. We cannot allow foreigners foreigners to come here and ruin our children when we are seated. Sasa ni kazi gani tunafanya? Kazi gani tunafanya? And you can sit as a security committee where you make recommendations to CS Kindiki is here. He'll do what he needs to do. He's in charge of our immigration. Si mnajua what we can do. The CS is here. If those foreigners become a nuisance, the CS is here. He has the instruments. He has the law. But let us not allow foreigners to come to our country to sell drugs and ruin our children. It is unforgivable. Na we UCS Karoli, na USPD hapo kiamba, mukikubalia hiyo ata mungu ataona nyinyi. Muko pale, Mumewashilia hii watu. Nilipita hapo ruaka nikienda matanga. Vijana wananiuzia drugs. Mimi mwenyewe deputy president. <laughs> Sema wewe, wewe rikiji, chukua hii itakusaidia kuko mbele. <laughs> I'm telling you. We went hapo karuri. Hapo. Hapo chini ya, hapo chini ya mudhuru hapo. In a funeral. Tukiwa hapo, tuko na uspidi, tuko na kila tumejaa huko. Vijana, wanafuta tu bangi. Uzuri sisi tunajua yu arufu kwa sababu ya mambo hapa na pale. So, tukiwa pale, Deputy President is in a ceremony. The county police commander is there. The OCS is there. There are more than 50 police officers. Vijana, wanafuta bangi kwa hiyo mkutano. It's impunity of the highest order. It's where we have sunk as a country. So, please, please, let us do our job. And we want you to stay here in this region. Lakini, hamuwezi kaa hapa na bangi kai. It is you who will make the decision. Because bangi cannot make a decision. It's the human beings who will make a decision, isn't it? Yeah, nyi ndiyo mwenye guamua. So, within your station, kama hiko drugs, one person must give way. 
na mnajua ni nani atapeana nafasi and we want in the next one week arising from this conference the force of government must be felt in this region and the rest of the country na mwende mufanya hiyo kazi and you have our support and by the way nobody station commanders ospds acs dcs nobody will harass you and for the record let me use take this opportunity to confirm to police officers and admin officers president william ruto has said he does not need you to help him in politics he has enough people to help him ako warembo naruto friends of ruto wamama naruto all sorts of people to help him he doesn't even know what to do with them ile serikali ingine mlitumika vibaya kwa mambo ya siasa we want our admin officers to do positive work kama ile mulivanya ya kuandikisha wakulima and i nataka kumpongeza it was a good job congratulations and you even had the president commend us pale kwa public service ceremony police officers please isi asa pana kazi yenu mimi niko na usi yes pale kiamariga sasa wote nisaidia na siasa gani siasa gani wewe unajua how can you help me and why would i want you to help me so wacha mimi ningangana na hii watu ya siasa on my own wewe please control crime keep enforce the law apprehend offenders that is your work i don't blame you neither does the president because nyinyi ni watu ya uniform ni watu ya yesa so muliambiwa muuze mzee asimio yesa kibarua ngumu na muliona vile muliumia na poleni because you are being asked to do something that is difficult kuuza hiyo mzee ilikuwa kazi ngumu sana and that is not your work the president has given very clear instructions to professor kiniki here to create a professional outfit of the national police service and gao please be professional na siku tutamwambia nyinyi muende siasa mtasema sisi ni waongo we will never ask you to go to politics or to harass our opponents no that is not your work let us also dignify you tupatie nyinyi heshima kwa sababu you are officers you are also parents finally commission ya maraka inaendelea mmetoa maoni you know when you are going round mimi mwenyewe nilisimama nikasema tukipata mambo yenu tutaangalia na tukapata na asanteni tunajua mlitupigia kura kwa sababu tulikuwa tunatetea nyinyi so hiyo kura mlitupatia si ya bure that that task force is just about to wind up i don't know exactly what the recommendations are but the instructions from the president were clear we must look at your welfare in terms of salary in terms of allowances hata hii uniform hii ya blue amtaki itaangaliwa tunajua mlikuwa mnalalamika lakini hamuna sauti so we were complaining for you so we are looking into it gao officers we know the acc you have challenge mambo ya magari mambo ya housing professor is well uh, appraised of your challenges and we really want to dignify your service so that you can also be effective officers so in matters welfare no government itaangalia nyinyi kama hii ya president william ruto lakini pia nyinyi mkuu wa ngwana eh yeah. mkiongezwa mshahara kitu kikubwa mwachana na mambo ya kitu kidogo you cannot have both you must decide kama mnataka kikubwa mkule kikubwa kama mnataka kidogo tuachane na kikubwa muendelee na hiyo kidogo tuendelee kusubuana na hakuna haja so wacha tumpatie nyinyi kitu kikubwa then hii maneno ikidogo kidogo tuachane naye let us please let us also dignify yourself as an officer hii maneno ya shiriki ya msini kwa barabara mia moja hapana kama unataka kunywa chai kunywa chai kwako nyumbani uende kwa barabara ufanye kazi ukitaka chakula uende kwa ATM utoe pesa yako ujinulie chakula is also very dignified kujinulia chakula Wengine police officers while we traffic you know we have had many stories with you for many years mnakula pesa barabara you forget that hiyo pesa itaisha sikini unakuja uende nyumbani unaulizwa utaenda wapi 
I want to advise you officers also, as a retired civil servant, also prepare for your retirement. Uzikae tu, unaendelea kuseeka. Don't pretend that you never get old. You'll have to give way. So also prepare for your retirement. Save pesa yako pale kwa sako, mshara yako mzuri, invest vizuri, and prepare for retirement. It is very bad when an officer retires and then you become a beggar in the village. It is not right. I'm just advising you as one of you, please also organize yourselves and prepare yourself for eventual retirement when the time comes. So kwa hayo mengi, mimi nataka niseme asanti. Tunataka kusikia kila kona. And I'll be unaiji asking for reports. And we'll be monitoring. These leaders here, our MPs wetu, they are not malicious people. They are good people. They'll oversight the work you are doing and they'll tell us. Na hawa jumbe kwa sababu wanapenda watu yao. Hakuna mjumbe atakubali bangi uzwe kwake amenyamaza. Lasi maaseme. Na hita kuwa ni fitina. And we'll ask them not to have fitina. Because hakuna mutu wako na maneno na mutu mungine. These officers here, these governors will tell us whether we are making progress. Usiesi ya nyeri town, uniona ni kupatie gari yako. Ile ambaye naenda kuchukua pesa ya bangi kila siku. I'll give you the number. Eh? Nita kupatia, inaenda kuchukua pale kamakwa. I'll give you the registration number. So that you deal with that driver na hiyo kopuro na tembea dae. Na weo nakaa tu kwa ofisi. Labda hiyo pesa na chukulua unaletewa, we don't know. I don't want to assume. Maybe you are innocent. But there is a problem. And you know this town of Nyeri town because this is what we are hapa. There is a serious problem. He town. Iko Shida. And also yes, you know those characters who sell drugs in this town. You know them. After you let this see what happened, I'm a car hapa for a long time. And then he knows. What am I doing? See that one. I'll give you the decision. So that, please, please, before we advise the president for the National Security Council, because this really is We cannot license poison. It is foolish. As a responsible government, we license people to sell poison. No, it is not right. So I want to thank you. Finally, Buwana Kanja, congratulations on your appointment as DIG. Pongezi. The president has told me to tell you, this is your first assignment. And I know you are equal to the task. So we are nyorosha maneno. Vido li nyorosha hile ya dusit. Si hini mambo kidogo. Hii ya bangi na nini, these are small things. Congratulations. Uh, kwa hivyo, kwa hayo mengi, governors, asanteni for taking your time. Please, governors, I plead with you. Kangata, usichukue revenue, watoto wetu waishe. Tafadhali, naomba nyinyi, waiguru, kahiga, badlisha, wa matangi. Please, let us, not, uh, let us not take revenue and kill our children. They will never forgive us. Zidio officers. And let us not license. And you know you also make the work of these officers very difficult. If you have licensed an establishment, how, does, how do they go inside to arrest those people? Let us separate so that the officers, we can make their work easier. Kwa ayo mengi, nafikiri tumeanda lunch, tutakula pamoja. Sidiyo shisia, is lunch ready? Tukule pamoja, alafu... RC na PS atapanga vile mutaenda nyumbani. Mukifika nyumbani, mutasalimiana? Mutasalimiana? Kasi tutanyorosha? Tutasikia kivumbi? By when? <laughs> By when? Eh? By jioni hii? Eh, wacha tufanya kazi. Wacha tufanya kazi. Tafadhali. And it is doable, gentlemen and ladies. It is doable. Hii ni operation kidogo sana. Hii watu ya pobe na bangi, it's a small thing. So please do what you must do. Dio tu endele mzuri. Nani atawakuja ombe chakula? Nani? Wa murada hako wabi? Yule wa boy child. Kuja hapa utuibio njimbo moja di uchemusha hii watu. 
Alafu wamewe chakula. Letu wa muratha ka. Munajua wa muratha huyu? And maybe somebody. Where is Ichungwa? Somebody should have introduced these leaders to these officers who are due. Sindiyo wapi kimani Ichungwa? Nani yako? Who is... Where is Dede? Who knows these leaders? Vizuri. I introduce hao kwa... Kwa maosa si yuajue njini. DMM mame kuja juzi ya si yuwa yu watu. Wamo chomba kuja. You can attempt. You know it's good for, si mungatawa kujua hao viongozi wenu. So that they know them. Kujeni yuwa viongozi hapa mbele. Come all of you here so that they can see you and wamo chomba can introduce you. So that they know their leaders. It's important that they know their leaders. Kawanjiko, ni mimi mbunge wa new constituency Abo yu memensho niwa hapa na kila mtu ya Rwaka Which is Kiamba constituency Asante sana Thank you His Excellency My name is Peter Kihongi MP Kangema Thank you very much Your Excellency I'm Kashio Kigitari MP Kirenya Central Thank you Your Excellency 